bikes in years, dusting them off from the garage, borrowing our kids' bikes, and we're learning about all the ups and downs about the, the advantage of, of riding uh, bike shorts and the disadvantage of not having riding bike shorts. I had to get my bike out of the shed and air up the tires and dust it off, but we are training right now and we're gonna do it. We took the news probably worse than Ann did. She was so strong for us. Heather Smith is talking about friend and co-worker Ann Robinson, a 30-year Norton Healthcare employee who is in the battle of her life. It was found by accident after I had another test and I wasn't having any symptoms, but the CT scan did indicate I had a mass on my pancreas. Ann had surgery to remove the cancer and found her role as caregiver reversed. I've taken care of these patients for years. I take care of them every day. And now it's my, you know, sometimes it's your turn. So I figured it was just my turn and I just have to deal with it. But she's not dealing with it alone. Well, um, I was at home one day and talking to my husband about what, I, what we could do for Ann. And our CNO, Lewis, had told us about the bike to beat cancer. So I was like, we need to form a team for Ann. And that was the beginning of Annie's Angels, complete with their own logo, numerous bake sales, quilt and print raffles, plus the bike ride. Their goal? $10,000. When we called Ann for the first time to tell her that we were doing Annie's Angels, she cried. She said it was the best thing that anybody has ever done for her. So I'm thrilled that my co-workers are doing this for me. I'm humbled. I, I don't know what I've done to deserve such uh, love, but I'm so thankful that I have it. And that love is infectious. I was like, 35 miles? <laughs> I said, I'll never do that. But I'm actually up to 12, so. She's just, she's such an inspiration. So besides raising money, Annie's Angels are building up their endurance to complete the 35, 65, or 100 mile course. Annie will be cheering for them on behalf of all cancer patients. When we may have aching legs, it's nothing like what she's going through, but it's just a little something we can do to um, show Annie that we love her and we are right there with her and we want to do what we can. It might take us all day long, but We'll be there and Ann's gonna be at the finish line for us. Come on, smiling. Way to go, Shannon. Way to go, Brian. Let's do it. Way to go, Amanda.